it's become mandatory for just about every oil related position. If you're out on site, you need to have fire retardant clothing. So a lot of people really want to buy it locally, so I brought it in. Or trying to. There's many back order issues with it because nationwide the industry was hit very hard. So the manufacturers aren't keeping up. So you just keep adjusting as time goes by, whatever they're looking for, because it's a, it's a whole learning process. I never dreamt I'd be selling fire retardant clothing. And it's expensive. It's nearly double the cost of what, what average work clothes are. Just got to be cautious. Just keep on top of what they're required to wear and not. I, I just don't want to be overstocked and then all of a sudden it's not, it's not what they need. You know, It's a faster pace. There's more just more people you know even if it's small sales there's just more people we're losing you know some of our elderly whether they've you know passed on or moved into smaller homes moved away to be with family that type of thing and then you know younger people are moving back because they want to raise their kids in a smaller community and then the oil industry has certainly brought in younger workers well I'm amazed how these people are brand new to this area and how many of them really want to shop locally. It's just important to them to, you know, it's a tiny little town but they want it to be their home because they don't have roots here. It, it doesn't matter, you know, but if you give them, they'll give us an option, you know, or a chance to try to meet their needs. Some of them will actually come here and, you know, maybe just work on their computer or pay bills or something just to have a place that's quiet, especially if they live in you know, have to share a space like in a man camp. Every once in a while there will be guys sitting back here with the lilacs and 